Um, these programs include Midas GTS for geotechnical engineering, Midas Gen for building and general structures, Midas Civil for bridge and civil structures, Midas FEA for advanced nonlinear structures, and then Midas NFX for mechanical engineering. Okay. <clears throat> So MidasSoft was established about 20 years ago, but within that short time frame, we've been able to establish um, a global and a worldwide network. So hundreds and thousands of engineers around the world currently use our software uh, for their projects and for their applications. It's a powerful tool for them to help them save time, to increase the efficiency of their work, and also to get high quality results and analysis. So we're total solutions providers. We pride ourselves on being able to provide solutions to any projects or problems that engineers may face. Our technology is world leading, so many industry leaders use our technology for landmark projects. The imagination to creation, so our software provides the tools necessary to help engineers make their visions a reality. And of course, the Midas Global Network, by becoming a member of uh, Midas or becoming a Midas user, you join a global network of engineers that work together to analyze and design the future. Okay. Uh, so as I said, many uh, landmark or industry-leading uh, companies have used our software for their projects or for the landmark projects. Um, some of these projects include uh, the King's Cross Station in the UK um, that was analyzed and designed with Midas GTS, uh, the D Dubai Tower in Qatar. Um, the foundation was analyzed using Midas GTS as well. The Rusky Island Bridge in Russia, the world's longest and tallest cable stayed bridge, was analyzed with uh, Midas Civil. And of course, the Burj Khalifa Tower, currently the world's tallest building, uh, was modeled and analyzed with Midas Gen. Okay, so now I'll just go into a brief overview of SoilWorks. So SoilWorks is comprised of six different modules, um, which are, have been uh, designed to handle any type of project that you may face. So this next video just very briefly goes over each module. Uh, so first, there's the tunnel module for tunnel analysis and design. This can also be used to perform uh, excavation analysis. Okay. And then there's the slope module for cut and embanked slopes. Um, this module uses LEM, SRM, and SAM methods to perform analysis, and you can also get the effects of your reinforcements on your stability. The soft ground module, which is used for settlement analysis, so you can use this module to analyze the consolidation of a clay soil over a number of years, but you can also get the immediate uh, settlement of sandy or silty soils. Then there's the foundation module for a PY analysis of uh, your pile configurations. So you can uh, model and analyze multiple pile configurations simultaneously. And then there's the seepage module to analyze the effects of um, seepage on soil interaction. This is typically used for dams or levees, but it can also be used in uh, coupled in analysis with your slope module. And then last, there's a the dynamic module for seismic analysis. So the software has a very in-depth um, database of time history records for earthquakes, so you can get a very accurate sort of simulation of an earthquake um, in the area in which your project resides. Okay. <clears throat> so one of the main things to, uh, to remember about SoilWorks is that it's very fast. So our developers have implemented seven smart functions, which have been designed to reduce the number of steps for engineers to, finish, to uh, model their projects. And with these smart features, you can eliminate a lot of repetitive processes. So projects that uh, took you a very long time to do uh, with SoilWorks, you can you know, very drastically cut down on the time it takes to perform them. So the best way to really um, to see how fast SoilWorks is would be to have a demonstration. So what I'll do right now is actually I'll open the program, and I'll just very quickly go through. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just very quickly go through a foundation project. So as you can see, I've done most of the work um, ahead of time, just in the interest of time. Um, so first, we'll just go over our ground material properties. Um, so as you can see, I've already defined four separate ground material properties, um, and I can just go through them very quickly. Um, all the soil properties are, you know, included. And then if I would like to add another property, I would just type it in and click Add. So <clears throat> next, I'll go over my structural properties. So for this project, I've um, defined two cast-in-place beams. One is 1.5 meters in diameter, one is two. But if I wanted to include additional uh, pile types to model in this project, I could just click on element type. And as you can see, there I have various um, different types of piles to choose from. Um, so for example, with the user-defined pile, I have various shapes to choose from, rectangle, pipe, H. And then if I have maybe a, a type of uh, pile shape that isn't included, I could define that myself. Okay. 
And then next, we'll just go over soil layer information. So as you can see, I have four separate layers, and I have defined their depths along with their corresponding ground material properties. And once more, if I wanted to add another layer, I could just easily type that into the column, and it would be modeled. Okay. Now, foundation types. So for this uh, project, um, I have one pile configuration type, a 3 by 5 configuration using um, the pile that's 1.5 meters in diameter. So now what I'll do is I'll just create another one. So I'll create um, a, I'll use the 2 meter pile and I'll make it a, a 3 by 3. And then I'll change the footing size as well. So I'll make it 15 meters by 15 meters. And then I'll also make sure that there's three by three rows. So as you can see, it's changing already. And then I'll change the intervals or the spacing to five meters. And then I'll just simply add my piles. So there we go. As you can see, it's created for me, and then I'll just change my pile type to 2 meters wide. And then if I wanted to, I could just very easily um, delete my piles um, according to my needs, or I could move them around as well. So, so according to the needs of my project, it's very easily to change the configuration, and then I could just reset it according to my needs. So once I'm done, um, I'll just click Add. And now I have two different piles to choose from, or two different pile configurations. And let me just uh, change the name here. There you go. Excellent. So now moving along, I'll just go over my foundation loads. So just using the spreadsheet, you can just very easily input your uh, necessary loads. And then as you can see, I have one design load that I'm using. But according to the needs of my project, I can have multiple load sets um, that I can have. And you know, with this, uh, these pictures here, you can easily visualize um, the, your loads. Okay, now I'll just create my water level. Um, so I'll just create the boundary set water level. And then I'll make my depth uh, 3.5 meters. Okay, and as you can see, like the work window is a really great way to keep track of your work. So everything that you add um, is kept track of in the work window and you can refer to it very easily. So here's my water level and as you can see, it's just displayed in the, in the screen. Okay, and then before I run my analysis, I just have to define my cases. So currently I have one analysis case for my first configuration. So now what I'll do is I'll create another analysis case for my second configuration. Okay, and then I'll just choose um, from my various inputs what I'd like in this analysis case. So I'll use the second configuration. I'll include my water level and then I'll include my design load. So those are the things that will be included or taken into account in the analysis. And then I'll simply click um, OK. And now I have two cases to choose from. Oh, let me, uh... There you go. Perfect. So now that I have um, two different cases, which I'll analyze, and now I'm ready for, to perform my analysis. So now I'll just click on the Analysis and Report tab. So as you can see, my two cases will be um, analyzed, and then there's the Auto Report Generation feature. But I'll turn this feature off because it takes a few minutes to run. So for now, I'll just perform the analysis for these two cases. OK, perfect. So now I'm in post-processing. And as you can see, the program just has all of your results very easily formatted for you. Um, so now there's graphs for your horizontal displacement, your moment, your shear force, and your ground reaction. And you can just very easily just click on each pile to get your graphs for each. And also, as you can see, there's also detailed um, spreadsheets um, to organize all of your work. So you have your maximum displacement um, and your max number of forces and also your pile heads for you know, each pile. And then also, the uh, program analyzed both configurations simultaneously, so you can just immediately compare and contrast your results.
Okay, so I mentioned that there's the auto report generation feature that I turned off. Um, so basically what the program does is it cr automatically creates a report for you based on your analysis results. So I'll just pull up a sample copy for you to look at here. Okay, so this is just the analysis report for the project we've just uh, just completed. So as you can see, the software organizes a, a table of contents for you, and it also organizes your uh, spreadsheets along with all your pictures and all your graphs. Uh, so this is something that takes the uh, software just a couple of minutes to do. Um, but as you can see, it's a 360-page report, and within a matter of minutes, the uh, software is able to generate it. So this is something that could save you um, hours of time in the long run. So instead of having to you know, tediously extract your results and create a report, the software will take care of that for you. Okay, so now, what, one more thing, I'll just go over, or I'll just open a, um, just the post-processing file for a slope stability uh, project for you guys, and just give it a second to load. So, easy meshing. So, um, for the other modules, there's an easy meshing um, feature, which allows you to automatically generate your mesh. So, within a couple of mouse clicks, your uh, mesh can just be seamlessly generated. But at the same time, um, for example, if you have a project that demands map, grid, or pattern mesh, um, those options are available to you. Um, then you can easily just create your models um, without an advanced knowledge of finite element analysis. So the, our program has a very in-depth and extended, extensive database of various material types, um, along with all their corresponding uh, material properties. So you can just simply choose from the database to model and to define your properties. And if there's a particular soil um, that isn't included in the database, you can define it yourself and then save it for future reference. And all of these properties can be uh, user-defined as well. So if you want to make any alterations or changes according to your personal preference or the needs of your project, you can easily do that. Okay. Then the program also does simple analysis. So you don't need to have like a very in-depth analysis or in-depth knowledge of analysis in order to perform them. So the uh, software can perform all these different analysis types for you. Um, so that you can just focus more on the results instead of the process. Okay, and then SoilWorks is very avoidable, uh, affordable. So as we discussed, the software comprises of six uh, different modules um, included into one, ex one all-inclusive program. So something we noticed is that most geotechnical companies, they have several different programs to handle their various applications, which can lead to a loss in time and efficiency because of the time it takes to learn different programs, and then also having to um, extract results from one program and put it into another. So with SoilWorks, you just have one program that handles everything, and these modules um, can work sort of seamlessly with each other. So um, the results from one module can be easily imported into another. So at the price of maybe just a couple of software pro software packages, you have maybe um, you have like a software program that handles everything for you. Okay. So the main things to remember about SoilWorks is one that it's very fast. So through using the seven smart features, you can save um, a lot of time and you can cut down on the, uh, you can increase your efficiency. It's very easy and any engineer can use it. Um, so within you know, a couple of days, um, your engineers can be able to contribute to, um, to the work process through the use of the software. And once again, we also have a very uh, helpful and supportive technical support. So if you have any questions, you can just get into contact with us. And within a couple of hours, we'll be there to help you out. Um, we'll be there to answer your questions. And then once again, it's a six in one software that handles everything, so it's very affordable. Okay, so now I'll just go over a few in-depth design features of the software. So different load types are included in the software, so any type of uh, load type that, might, that your project might have to encounter, um, you can just choose from the database, and you can input your loads very easily. Uh, graphic results, so various graphic results are available to you. Um, so depending on your personal preference, you'll have a wide variety of graphical results to choose from. And then tabular results. So as we saw in the uh, foundation demonstration, or the foundation module demonstration, all of your results are uh, created or formatted in a very easy to understand spreadsheet that can be imported. And the software creates the graphs for you. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about um, sort of the analysis process it takes to do a slope project. So currently there exists in the industry this, um, this common process. And most engineers lose time in steps four and five, having to create uh, multiple case studies um, with their software. So with most software packages that are out there, you would need multiple files to create, you know, multiple case studies to analyze and to compare them. But with SoilWorks, you could just have one file for all of your different uh, cases, 
and the, the program will analyze all of them simultaneously and you can just immediately compare and contrast your results. And also, once again, with the report generation feature, you can save hours um, just by uh, using that feature to automatically generate your reports. And all of the modeling in SolarWorks is CAD-based. Um, so another great feature is that you can actually import your AutoCAD files directly from your computer. So you could either import them or you could copy and paste them. So instead of having to redraw your projects on the software, you can just easily import them. And at the same time, if you have to make any alterations or you make any changes, um, you can just use these commands, which are available to you in SolarWorks, to make your necessary changes. Okay, so then various uh, boundary conditions are available to you to, to find your uh, surface failure. So um, within the slope module, you can use the polygonal failure surface for block or uh, wedge uh, failure surfaces. Then obviously you have your arc failure surface and the auto failure surface is where you can input it automatically. So all three of these options are available to you with the software. Uh, loading conditions, you can choose your various loading conditions very easily um, with the parameters that we set. Then analysis capabilities, so uh, the slope or the uh, soil works can actually perform multiple uh, methods of analysis simultaneously. So for slope um, projects, you can use the limit equilibrium method and the strength, strength reduction method simultaneously. So if you ever have a project where you feel like you need some more in-depth analysis, you can just easily use the SRM um, analysis option and the program will do both of them for you. So you can immediately just compare and you can contrast the results uh, from each analysis method. And then here's just a snapshot of the report that's generated by the slope module. So as you can see, the program just automatically um, creates a report for you and it organizes your spreadsheets and your drawings. Okay, so now with the foundation process or the foundation design process, uh, once again, most engineers, they lose a lot of time um, in steps three and four. So with SoilWorks, you can analyze and uh, design multiple files or multiple cases in one file. Um, and as we saw, the uh, pile uh, generation feature is very easy to use, and it's very easy to create your pile type. Uh, loading conditions, your loadings can be easily imported or easily, uh, excuse me, easily defined just through this spreadsheet. And then analysis capabilities, so you can run as many analysis cases simultaneously, or as many analysis cases as you'd like simultaneously, and then all of the input data is just easily arranged for you. And then as you saw, the software just immediately or automatically generates a very um, convenient report for you. Okay, so just to wrap it up, I'll just go over a few project applications or just a few projects that our software has been used for. So the mountain tunnel. Um, so this would be an application for the tunnel module. So as you can see, with the software, um, you can create your mesh and you can analyze the effects of soil um, or the the uh, changes on the soil by your excavation or your tunnel. So tunnels with temporary structures, so like the tunnel module can also be used for excavation projects and construction stage analysis. So you can model the uh, different elements that will be present during various stages. Um, and you can also simultaneously analyze the effects on neighboring structures by your excavation and your construction. Okay, so the subway tunnel construction with adjacent structures and sewer pipes. So this, the contour graph just sort of shows the effects of your tunnel on uh, the soil above the tunnel as well as the foundations of neighboring structures. And then reinforcement for cut slopes. Um, so this, uh, the software just analyzes the effects of your reinforcements on your slopes and also you can get the um, effects of rainfall or dry or rainy seasons using the seepage module. And then slope stability of the tunnel exit, once again another application for the slope module. Uh, reinforced earth retaining walls, so you can also design and analyze retaining walls using the slope module. Uh, stability of a piled raft foundation, so this is actually a sample uh, or a sample project from Langan. Um, so as you can see, they have like a, a more complex pile configuration that they're able to model very easily with the software. And then abutment on slopes with and without pile effects, so you can very easily um, sort of see the effects of piles on your slope. Group pile behavior, so you can also model uh, piles in at an angle. Uh, settlement in soft ground, you can, you can analyze clay soils over, you know, the consolidation of clay soils over a long period of time, so you get your time history graph. And then dams and levees with cutoff walls, this is to analyze the effects of seepage on your soil interaction, commonly used for dams, levees. And then underground structures, um, once again, another application for the tunnel module. Okay, so that concludes the SoilWorks presentation. Um, so if you have any questions at all, feel free to contact me. Once again, my name is Daryl Sarospe. You can send me an email 
or give me a phone call and with any questions you may have. Um, also, I'll be making my follow-up calls tomorrow just to see how you like the presentation and to see if you're interested in evaluating SoilWorks for yourself. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just very quickly introduce um, our guest speakers. Um, so our speakers come from Langan. Um, the first speaker is Costa Singros. He's a project manager. He received his master's degree um, in structural engineering from the National uh, Techn Technical University of Athens and his PhD in structural and geotechnical engineering from the City University of New York. And also we'll be hearing from Alan Popel, who is a vice president in Langan Engineering. He received his bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and he also received his master's degree in geotechnical engineering from the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Okay, Costas, so you may begin your presenta presentation. Thank you.